yes welcome to this video in this we are going to see the uh, one of the page replacement algorithm followed in demand page already we have seen fifo now the second algorithm in the series we are going to see is optimal algorithm so what this optimal algorithm do in the fifo algorithm we have seen an anomaly called belady's anomaly belady anomaly so what is that belady anomaly we think that if we increase the number of the frames then uh, the number of page faults may be reduced that is what we have seen in the previous one that is in this uh, graph when the number of page faults here number of page fault increases uh, when the number of frames are very less but when you keep increasing the number of frames the number of page fault decreases this is what we have seen but belady anomaly is in fifo we have come across a situation where uh, even if you increase the number of frames say for example here 3 to 4 there is increase in the page fault so our belief that uh, if we increase the number of frames the page fault will decrease uh, is somewhat here failed so how we can remove this belady anomaly that comes our optimal algorithm here uh, first i will explain the algorithm and then we'll see drawback in this algorithm also so what is an optimal algorithm that is you have to replace a page that is not used for longest period of time the page may be in the main memory so you have to pick up page which is uh, for longer period and not used so that is what the uh, Uh, aim of this algorithm so replace page that will not be used for longest period of time so let us take with an example let me explain this let us have four frames okay and this is the reference frame now first time this will lead to page fault so first uh, they may not be in the main memory so reference to first page will make a page fault and that will be read from the secondary disk into the main memory then again two again three four so there are four page fault in this for all these reference for all the four frames there will be four page fault for the first reference of these four pages then again it comes one since it is already in the main memory it is uh, no page fault takes place then two it is already in the memory no page fault then five now we have to replace any one of this in order to make room for this so in that case we will see which which page is not going to be used uh, immediately so when you go through the reference we have come across uh, this is the one which we are going to load from the secondary storage and for this only we are going to find out uh, frame so we check the next 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 1 2 3 all these things after this immediately this is going to be referred and this is going to be referred this is and then Uh, last only the four in the four uh, frames one has to be uh, replaced so if you check that one two three are going to be immediately uh, next 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 uh, after that only four so you can replace four because four will report frame reference will come after all these things so you remove that and you replace it with five now when you come across the next uh, there is no page fault Page fault is avoided for that. So two, it is already there. Three is already there. Now comes the four. When you see that, you cannot replace five because after this, there is a, uh, if there are a, a reference, then you have to check. But in this string, I am talking about only in this string. So only five. So there is no for this is uh, residing for a longer period of time. At this point, you can remove this. provided it is not referred again after five if it is not referred again uh, you should not if it is referred you should not select this one if it one is referred again you should not select this so what is the thing here you should have a future knowledge whether that particular refer, string will be referred a particular page will be referred again or not so that knowledge with that knowledge only this optimal algorithm you know, let me explain with one more uh, string which we have seen for the fifo so these are all the string uh, let us assign these strings to the pages so seven first time reference page fault takes place 
second time reference again page fault one now two in order to accommodate two you have to replace any one of them so how you will uh, which frame which page or which frame you will uh, remove so now you have to go through the whole of the string now if you see that zero is referred again okay here again refer then one one for longer period of time it is after this only it is referred but if you see that seven is referred here that is uh, after some after one only the seven is referred that is it is still it is after some longer period only seven will be referred so which means this will be the idle one to be replaced so we remove seven and put two here okay then zero again it is referred so it is not replaced then we find three so one is here only you are referring after some time so we are referring because two is again referred here and zero is again referred here so don't remove two and zero so in this one can be removed as it is referred after some time so now three is placed now again two zero three is that now zero no page fault then four now we have to replace any one of this with four so how you can you should not remove two okay you should not remove three also because immediate reference two cup then three is there so after that only zero is referred if you see within that the next 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 zero comes later so now we take this as the optimal page to be removed so now after that we remove it and four is placed here now uh, next comes to it is already there so no page for three is already there no page for now zero comes so there must be the zero must be brought in again so now when you check there is no reference of four so now we find this will be the uh, uh, near future there is no reference of four so this will be the optimum page to be removed so we replace it with zero now two zero three then three it is already there two is already there now one is not there now we have to find an optimal thing so that one can be there. now if you see that three is not at all referred but two is referred so now three is the optimal page so we replace it with one uh, and then here two it is there zero is there one is there now comes to seven when you take seven you have to check which is not present reference but if you take zero it is going to be referred immediately one is also going to be referred next so two will be the optimum which is not here so now you replace that with seven so if you take this how many faults are there initially three page faults are there that is one two three and then uh, you have to see this the one with the gap that will be considered as a page fault because it is uh, already uh, that is the it will be considered as the one uh, we have the page fault so what happened one two three then four that is four uh, five six seven eight nine Okay, sorry. One, G uh, seven. If you take this, will be the page fault. So when there is a page fault only, we replace it. So we can consider this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine page faults. When there is no page fault, we don't replace it. So there will be a gap. So we can take this as a number of page faults. Whereas if you see this, first time four times page faults, and then this is one, four, five, and then six. So six page faults takes place in this. So what is the drawback? You must have a knowledge when a page has to be replaced. You, when the frame will come in the next string, in the string. So if you, I'm how I have replaced seven by having a knowledge by going through this reference bit that it will come later. So you must. The drawback is you must know when that particular page, each page will be referred. and how long later that page will be called only that you can replace so that is a problem with this so where it can be applied so when you are writing your own algorithm or some other algorithm if you want to compare how that algorithm functions you can compare that algorithm with this optimal algorithm because once it has it work you will come to know how it executes so with that knowledge you can put it in an optimal algorithm the optimal algorithm actually will give the best results so it will be used for comparing whether 
this will be taken as a one and you can compare uh, with your own algorithm not only that for comparison studies and all this can be used